Today is 12 April 2016 Queen's Vet We have this microscope Which is used to To show the blood smear of this uh, poodle With Babesia The smear is done here The smear is on this side So we take a peripheral blood smear of the poodle Which has thrombocytopenia On April and came to top air vets after seeing vet one for two times and the dog was still not well not eating and had very pale gums now this is the blood smear done by Dr. Daniel now you can see we will, we will okay, zoom up a bit to show the parasites in the red blood cells now put the arrow there to show you can see the uh, uh, focus. These are the red blood cells. We should not have any things, any uh, foreign parasites inside, but you can see. Okay, point another one. No, uh, you can see. Wait, let me, ha let me have it. So these are the ones with uh, parasites, with BCA parasites. And uh, some of them really ruptured. The wall has ruptured. It's an irregular spiky shape and uh, okay zoom bigger for the particular one <coughs> okay you can see now uh, you can much see zoom bigger okay so you can see all the red blood cells are ruptures that's why the dog has low red blood cells and and low platelets and hemoglobin now the white blood cell is actually this one below that the uh, that one is the white blood cell. White blood cell not affected by babies here. Some more on the side. Any more white blood cell? Yeah, there's one on top. There's a white blood cell, the polyneutrophils. But they see the whole, most of the red blood cells have been infested by babies here on April 7, 2016, when the owner brought the poodle to see me. Okay, show the whole view. Some more. Uh, so we, we really had this uh, very very uh, interesting situation where there were, there were really too many parasites in the red blood cells, baby seosis. We, we enlarge on this side. You can see the red blood cells again. Okay, we don't move too much first. You can see. The, the bodies inside the red blood cells some of them have ruptured that's why the the red blood cells doesn't look do not look rounded they look a bit uh, spiky you can see the spike there the membrane has uh, ruptured so though the picture is not very good because it's not sharp it's a 200 times right 400 times 400 percent and large yeah can make it 200 percent 200, between the 200 and see 200% so that it might be better better focus yeah. I can see at 200% is better yeah. you can see most of the red blood cells are, are infected those are not infected ones are just show, show some arrow those not infected will have nothing inside uh, ok this one where which one let's see which one is the, the pointer uh, this one is not. Let me see. Is it infected now? No. I yeah. can't focus. Bit. No, don't move too much. I can't focus. Yeah. Just point, point at it, and then just stationary. Okay. Ah, this is the typical normal red blood cells. Yeah. And then below it, that's the infected one. No, just below that one is the infected one. Just put the arrow there. Ah, this one. Yeah. So the. The cell membrane has oval in shape, yeah. And even up to the left, there's some more uh, there. Mm. So a blood smear, peripheral blood smear, is very important when a dog has pale gums. Although it has no fever, and according to the owner, never exposed to ticks before. It doesn't mean that uh, the dog does not have tick fever. It so happened that. Uh, 
that it might have bites long ago or the tick might have dropped off because uh, that's because the dog has no fever. Muzzle 0.2 ml, this poodle, one year old, on April the 7th, and now April 12th, the dog has recovered his appetite and his, uh, the owner is very happy. And so it's one of those uh, of veg medicine, but not all dogs will survive, some will, some will die. Let's show some of it further down, further down, enlarge it, enlarge, no enlarge, okay, you see, see the various red blood cells infected there. Yeah. Queen's vet, April 12, 2016, Singapore, baby in a poodle, one year old male.